MPs drawn from Kilifi County led by Kalolini Member of Parliament Paul Katana, his Ganze counterpart Kenneth Kazungu and Malindi Member of Parliament Amina Manyazi have faulted critics of the National Government Constituency Development Fund saying that they did not have the interests of the education at heart by discrediting the fund. Kama unataka elimu, mfumo elimu, wa Kenya hii usambaratike, jaribu kutuwa CDF, manaki kwanzia kesho, watoto hatakuwa na napasi ya kwenda shumi. Na sisi kama wabunge wa kitaifa, tumesema licha ya kuwa tunamirengo yetu tofauti, safari hii tumeungana pamoja na nilazima, si yeti tunaomba, nilazima CDF kiregeswe ili watoto wetu waweze kwenda kule na machengo ya wetu kwenyea. The MPs argue that the fund had made it possible for learners to be in school through the issuance of bursaries, building of schools infrastructure and lessening the burden of parents. Amina asked President William Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Kashagwa to make sure that the fund remains. Act of 2015, ndio inatumika na hiyo haijakuwa ama haijaharamishwa na koti. Koti liharamisha ile act ya zamani. Kwa hivyo tumehakishiwa na viongozi ikiwemo mheshimiwa rais mwenyewe nafikiri tulikuwa na, naye kwa mkutano kule Nairobi na yeye pia akasema CDF itakuwa kwa sababu yeye pia anatambua ulo muhimu ambao hii CDF uko nayo na anatambua vile CDF imeweza kusaidia kuleta maendeleo kule mashinani kwa hivyo mimi nikisimama hapa najua kuwa CDF haijaenda mahali CDF iko na itaendelea kusaidia wananchi kule mashinani Residents of Kilifi and Tana River counties also voiced their concerns over the outlawing of CDF saying that it is a disservice to Kenyans and that they want it back. Yunis Mtego, residents of Kakuyuni in Malindi sub-county, stated that the fund had enabled her children to go to school and that its removal will spell doom for thousands of parents in Kenya. Mama matakome, hilo jambo, alifikirie mara nyingi sana na akiongea CDF iondolewe lakini alifikiria kuna wanyonge ambao hawajiwezi wanategemea hiyo misaada tu peke yake mimi kama mama wa Jilore na mkazi wa Kakoneni ninasema ya kwamba sheria hutengenezwa na sheria hufunjwa na sheria ikatengenezwa upya mambo mengi huku tumeyafanya kwa mipango ya CDF imetuinua mahali leo hii kama CDF itondolewa sisi tutakuwa wapi ni kama kuzikwa wazima wazima na roho zetu ikiondolewa CDF na ile pesa enye anatuwekea mheshimiwa haitutoshi kwa sababu pesa nyingi sana tunazitumia kwa walimu ambao wameajiriwa na bom na kila mwaka tunatumia kama milioni moja na laki tatu. This comes as a section of the clergy in the country have urged members of parliament to continue delivering to Kenyans despite the ruling made by the Supreme Court on the Constituency Development Fund. We know that in the political arena the MPs are pushing uh, for CDF to, to continue and be reinstated but work does not have to stop because the CDF is not there because the work of leaders is to coordinate and mobilize resources which they could do from our people in diaspora. Uh, we have people in the diaspora, we have people in urban centers, we have people who want to come back home and they help. But more often than not, they are looked at as political competitors. We have now about 5 to 10 million shillings in the foundation that uh, people of goodwill, I am a member of a New Kuo Yuga Association as a chair, people have pumped in money there. So I'm saying that uh, any child from game who does not have school fees for this coming uh, third term should not be sent home because of school fees. And I think really any leader, anybody who really loves the people, their people, must work towards solving their problem. All eyes are now on the August House as they are set to address this issue on the floor of the House shortly after President William Ruto opens up the 13th Parliament tomorrow.